guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys listen i got a story out of south florida shout out uh florida and uh it's about this oxygen thief right here this is 33 year old let me get his name right david rivero and this guy right here is accused of something inhumane to a human being but um this guy right here is trash this guy supposedly gave a marijuana gummy to an 11 year old girl who he met in a public mall the dolphin mall to be exact last week this supposedly happened supposedly then he took her into a bathroom and violated her i'm gonna play this uh video because this story broke yesterday even though it happened last week and uh you gotta see it to believe it. take a look onto disturbing sex crime allegation uh, and this is against an 11 year old girl miami Dade police say that this happened in a family restroom at dolphin mall when a man allegedly drugged and then raped the victim nbc6 anchor chris hush live with us from miami Dade police headquarters with the story chris you just spoke with police about this disturbing case what are they telling you yeah, it's disturbing indeed. The suspect, a 33-year-old man who was accused of taking this 11-year-old girl, as you said, into a restroom at Dolphin Mall and then giving her a marijuana edible before sexually battering her in that family restroom. A judge today ordering he be held in jail on no bond, giving the facts of this case. Sir Rivera. So you were arrested for sexual battery on a minor. It's from December 10th. Buenos días, señor Rivero. Usted fue arrestado por agresión sexual a un menor. Esto viene del 10 de diciembre. So the judge goes on to say that these are really egregious facts. Judge Mindy Glazer also noting this crime could be punishable by life in prison if he's convicted. The suspect, David Rivero, is charged with sexual battery on a minor after police say he went to Dolphin Mall in Sweetwater on December 10th, giving, giving the 11-year-old a marijuana gummy, then took her to the restroom where he sexually attacked her. Video surveillance helped Miami-Dade police identify and track down Rivero after the young victim told her mother, who then took her to the hospital shortly after that police were called. Investigators say the mother had dropped off her daughter at the mall to meet up with a friend, leaving her alone there before Rivero is seen taking taking her into the family restroom where that attack happened. It is a disturbing crime that police want parents to be aware of. You never know what's going to or what may happen, you know, to your child, to to your your loved one when they're unsupervised. So we remind them if you're going to take your your child somewhere and you are not going to be the person to watch them uh, try to ensure that there is some sort of supervision uh to make sure that there are no unsafe situations that may occur like happened in this instance chris uh what about the mother will she be facing any consequences here yeah, so we asked this question to police today during that interview. They tell us that because of the circumstances of the case, they did contact DCF because an 11 year old was involved in this incident. We reached out to DCF, the Department of Children and Families, to see if they are investigating this uh, incident here. We have yet to hear back. For now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of Mr. David Rivero, age 33. This guy is dog shit personified. Now, listen, <clears throat> a lot of things. A lot of questions come through my head. In the news article, they asked, was the mother going to be charged? Guys, I'll leave that up to you because, I mean, that's a very interesting question. And make sure you guys leave a comment if you think the mother should be charged or not and take the emotion out of it. The reason why I brought this up first as my first point is this girl, 11 years old, I would not leave an 11 year old girl in the mall and drive away. Call me when you're done. Unless she was with friends and they were like older teenagers. Or an older sibling with older teenagers. I would not let my 11 year old girl go anywhere unattended. You guys agree or disagree? That's just the way I was feeling about it. So I'm kind of up in the air about it. Second thing is this. How did she meet this guy? And he was a stranger. 
You see what I'm saying? Like, how, I wonder what he said to get her to stop and talk with him. Then take candy from him. I remember when we was young, I'm like, you don't accept nothing from somebody you don't know. And you get somebody a gummy. Yeah, eat it right now. What? I guess she ate it. It must have been strong for her to eat. Or, or he must have gave it to her and then like walked around and like slowly, slow stalked her. She started feeling funny. And he tried to make it like coincidence, like he bumped back into her. Hey, what's going on? I don't feel well. Are you okay? Here, let me walk you to the bathroom. Either way, he hunted this chick down. You know what I'm saying? And stalked her. My thing is this. Malls around this time are filled with a lot of beautiful women. Why you couldn't pick one of them to even talk to? Why you got to do some skeevy stuff and mess a kid up? I'm going to tell you, I was thinking about this last night, guys. Hear me on this. When you do stuff, especially the little girls, and you damage them like that, like she'll never be the same. I mean, her innocence was took. He R-worded her. I hate using it. I hate saying it, but sometimes you got to. Think about that. In a public bathroom, in a family environment, a shopping mall. Then comes out with her and goes his own way. Discarding her like a piece of trash or a piece of something that he used, like a, like a, a paper towel that he just discarded it and went on about his business. Luckily, they caught him. Then he up in court looking stupid. With a woman judge. They be looking dumb when he be a woman judge too. Yeah, you up here for violating uh, my sex in the species. A woman like me, a young lady coming up. You took her innocence, sir. Eh, eh, looking stupid. They always look dumb with the cuffs on. For that, I just take them right to the bushes. The urge. I mean, just the, the sexual urge in some of these perverted dudes, man, it's like beyond me. And now, I mean, women, too. I mean, I've been horny in my life. Everybody has. But I ain't never been like, yo, let me look at a kid or like make arrangements to try to do something to a stranger. I don't know. She'll never be the same. He shouldn't be the same. And I'll lock this dude up. Oh, he can get life in prison. But taxpayers is on the hook. Working a nine to five and paying taxes, they go to feed this fool when he shouldn't be here right now in the first place. Once they find out that a person did it, they get a confession out of him. Hey, man, why'd you do it? Uh, uh, yeah. No, no. The reason why they don't do that is because Lord, uh, courtrooms are theatrics. It's big money in criminals. That's the reason why, like, I come, I come hard on these people. And a lot of times, it's, I mean, I, it's the stuff they do, but everybody think they cooling in the system, and it always ends the same way. Somebody out here violated, there was a victim, you in jail, higher ups making money off of you, holding you in there, and the public's on the hook for paying for your meals and your luxuries. So I'm gonna tell you something. Long-term effects, psychological and physical effects on this uh, young lady coming up will be everlasting. Whereas this guy, once he gets sentenced and he goes up the river and gets complacent, he'll settle in. That's the thing. People are like, oh, I want him to go to jail for the rest of his life. That's a bad move. Because I'm telling you something, it's something called complacency and comfortability. You go somewhere, you realize that you're not a, it's not a threat to your existence every damn day. You know how to blend and move and shake in these type of penitentiaries and systems like that. You get you a little job, try to get back to normalcy, and you eat your three square meals a day. You work, they allow you to work. You get your commissary. You just take life as it comes because you ain't got no choice. You can watch TV, get on the iPad, keep it with the Internet. Watch Marvel can shake their ass on TV and all this other stuff while this person has to recover for the rest of their life. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling it. I don't know why they don't figure this out, that life in jail don't work. Still get to go outside, still get to enjoy things. Whereas this little girl, 11 years old, her innocence is gone. Let me say this and then get out of here. How you think? 
her first intimate moment with a boy, once she really gets into puberty and stuff like that, is going to be when the last interaction she had, which she shouldn't have had, was with a man taking advantage of her and doing her dirty. A lot of times, situations that happen like this, they never recover. They get all messed up in the head thinking about their self-worth and if a person really cares for them or not. It messes a lot of stuff up. Hopefully she can recover. But this motherfucker don't need to be here right now. And over here, him. Not feeling it. Not. He did this in a public place. A public place, y'all. Just like the rapper A.R. Ab said before he went to jail. Fuck apologies if the disrespect's in public. The only way to solve it is a bullet to the nugget. With some bushes nearby to catch the overspray. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Watch out for your kids. Y'all be careful.